Nothing tells the reality of this economy better than this. 37 million Americans are enrolled to use food stamps. That's a record high. My next guest is Christopher Patton. He's responsible for J.P. Morgan's public sector benefit payments business. J.P. Morgan is the first and the largest provider of food stamp benefits in the United States. And Chris comes to us live from Chicago this morning. Uh, good morning to you, Chris. There's a lot being chewed over with the jobs figure right now. We also heard from UPS they're cutting another 1,800 jobs. Give me a sense because I know J.P. Morgan's chief economist says we may be bottoming out on the job loss front. What does that mean, though, for your line of work? Good morning, Margaret. Thanks for having me on the show. It is very significant for our, for our line of work. Obviously, a couple of, couple of key trends that we see I think specific to food stamps, as you, as you know, we are the largest processor of food stamps in the country, so we've seen a huge increase in volume over the past year or two. A uh, number of people receiving food stamps up 40% in the last two years. Wow. That's a factor of the, of the poor economy, and unemployment is a big factor in that. Now, I didn't know until I was reading through your notes that even when you do have a job, if you're at a certain income level, you can still receive food stamps. Tell me, though, what sort of, of, of lull are you seeing there? Because the concern here is that even when people do get jobs, that pay is down. How are you forecasting this economy will look in terms of demand for food stamps in the next six months? Right. You make an excellent point. I think a little known fact is that a lot of a lot of people, 40% plus nationally, receiving food stamps are actually working. And that number is significantly greater in certain states. So you can still have a job and be receiving food stamp benefits. What that means is even if and when unemployment peaks, the number of people receiving food stamps is still likely to, to continue increasing for some time after that. You know, when people hear food stamps and, and they think of this as almost of a social welfare issue and may not make the connection, not just to what it says about the economy, but what it means to actual businesses, Walmart, Family Dollar, others are changing the way that they stock their shelves, the way that they try to appeal to customers because they're seeing people come in to use those food stamps in their stores. It's changing the reality of how the consumer is doing business in the retail space right now. What does that mean for J.P. Morgan? Because because we're not talking about actual pieces of paper anymore. We're talking about EBT. We're talking about debit cards. What does this mean in, in terms of J.P. Morgan's uh, benefit in some ways in this boost in business, use of trans in transactions? Right. You make a couple of excellent points there. I think uh, food stamps historically were paper. They were stamped. That is no longer the case, has not been for many years. Food stamps are now 100% electronic debit cards. So. One consequence of that, very positive one, is they act and feel very much like a regular debit card. A lot of stores increasingly take food stamps. Acceptance is very wide. Just last year, Costco, for example, started taking food stamps for the first time. It's an increasingly large part of Walmart's transaction flow, Walmart, Kroger, an even bigger part of the business for smaller merchants. Yeah, I so saw the good. I saw statistics that said 85% of food stamps are redeemed at grocery and warehouse stores. That's your Costco, that's your Walmart, that's your family dollar. I mean, this is real business for those companies right now. For J.P. Morgan's business, how significant a part of the bottom line comes from, from your program? I mean, it's a, this business is a very important business to J.P. Morgan. It's, a, it's an important business in terms of its size and scale. We also, we also uh, regard it that's very important uh, in the sense that we are delivering a very useful social function here. We are a key part of this benefit delivery mechanism. Right now, volumes have gone through the roof in the past couple of years. So we, you know, the, the good news from JP Morgan's perspective is mm -hmm. the, infra the infrastructure that we built you know, has, been right. able, has been able to cope with that increase in volume. All right. No, no you make a fair point there that, that this is a delivery mechanism.